everyone, welcome to my channel, Rain or Shine. Recently, we spent several days in the wonderful region of Bavaria to witness its magnificent Alps, charming towns, and magical castles as the world transitioned into the cold colors of autumn. Please join us in this first episode of our Bavaria travel series because we will show you some of the best places to visit in this part of Germany. From Dublin, we flew to the capital of Bavaria, Munich. However, we didn't stay here long. That will be for another video in this travel series. We have arrived in Munich and the first thing that we're gonna do is to look for the rental car. We found it! because I haven't practiced yet and I don't want anyone correcting me of my pronunciations again. Well, you can reach these places by train, some of them, but of course it's more convenient to have the rental car and also we have limited time and we want to visit many places. Renting a car is more convenient and also more comfortable because it's just gonna be the two of us. We are in control of our time when we want to stay in a place longer or shorter. This is a two hour drive, so my husband prepared a sandwich early this morning so that we don't have to stop and eat. We'll just eat this sandwich. Thank you for preparing me a lot. <laughs> I took a nap and my husband woke me up because the view is so amazing. This is where we're gonna stay. I mean, this, this valley. This is where we are going to stay. We quickly checked in into our accommodation before heading to our first location to explore. We chose this guest house because it was much cheaper than the hotels in Berchtesgaden town. I really love this accommodation. It is surrounded by mountains and just 15 steps in front of this house is a river. And I like the sound of a running water. And then this house is an old house. I love the design. What can you say about our accommodation? For the price, it's perfect. Perfect. The town of Ramsau is an enchanting Bavarian village. It is known for its special relation to the mountains around it. Something that you can really feel when you are here. I absolutely love it here. Everything is so picturesque. Ramsau is officially a mountaineering village, so its main pillars are the promotion of nature conservation and the preservation of the culture and traditions of the Alpine region. Though this town is very small, we absolutely loved it. It was an enchanting experience to walk beside the turquoise Alpine river surrounded by the colorful trees and cozy mountain houses.
no better way to make the afternoon even more perfect for us than to share a piece of cake and enjoy a cup of hot coffee. Where are we going next, mi amor? Uh, we are one hour late. We're supposed to shoot sunset over a beautiful church. And then you can see the Batsman Mountain behind it. It's zero visibility. It's already very dark and there's no point staying here because we cannot take videos or pictures. So the plan is we will come back here tomorrow for sunrise. But let's see if I can wake up. We stopped in the town of Precious Garden to eat a delicious dinner before going back to our accommodation. Now we have arrived in the accommodation. We are very tired. We woke up at 4 o'clock this morning. We're gonna freshen up, go to sleep, and we'll see you tomorrow. He's not coming for some reason. I'm going no, he will go at 5.30. I have to sleep. I have to get my beauty rest. <laughs> so bye, see you tomorrow. As expected, I wasn't able to wake up early to witness the sunrise with my husband. He ended up going alone and shared to me his experience like a very excited little kid when he arrived at the guest house. The sunrise is over and it has been wow, 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 incredible. We failed yesterday, but I'm back. Rain is asleep. She missed this amazing show. There's no worse. You should be here, not asleep. It's our second day here in the German Alps and we just ate a quick breakfast and now we are ready to explore again the Wöschesgaden National Park area. First stop, Königsee. Königsee. Thanks to our sister-in-law for all the pronunciations in German because she was born here. We will try to pronounce it as good as possible, but we know, probably, better. Please don't judge our pronunciation. We are trying. This place is probably one of the most famous tourist spots here in Berchtesgaden. The Kunig Sea is a natural lake in the extreme southeast Berchtesgaden area. As expected, the parking lot is already full. But we are lucky that we were able to see a spot immediately. It is considered to be one of the cleanest lakes in Germany because since 1909, only pedal, rowing or electric boats have been allowed on it. Let's go to the lake. The lake was originally carved by glaciers thousands of years ago during the Ice Age. 
There are so many cute shops and they sell very interesting stuff. I'm so entertained already. I could stay here for the whole day. took the electric boat to reach St. Bartholomew Church. We would have loved to visit the famous Ober Sea Lake, but from mid-October until spring, the boats don't sail to that stop. There are many hiking trails around the lake, but we didn't have much time to do any of them. I decided to find a quiet area where I could enjoy the tranquility of the clear lake and the mountains with golden autumn color. We just finished the boat tour and it's already almost 3 o'clock. We are very hungry, but then most of the restaurants here have bad reviews so we're just gonna eat a bread cell and another dessert and this particular store has good reviews so let's try after visiting the conic sea we drove to Burstis Garden town. Burstis Garden had already been receiving prominent guests like Bavaria's kings and noblemen even before the word holiday was created. Luckily, nowadays we don't have to be aristocrats to enjoy the town. The center of Burstis Garden is small but offers many picturesque sites including historic houses, churches and the royal palace. I personally loved sitting down on a bench while I observed other visitors indulge to the beauty of the town. Some of the facades of their colorful buildings are painted with historic and local scenes. I'm meant to live in the Alps. I love the mountain houses and they have all these beautiful colorful flowers. It looks so cozy. Life is simple. I love it so much. I'm 
taking videos everywhere. I stop every minute. Come on, Rain. Mi amor, where are you bringing me? I'm bringing you to the most beautiful viewpoint of Birch Tescade. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm wearing this because there are so many mosquitoes and they're biting my head. Faster! My husband is still taking the blue hour photos of the town. It's really beautiful. I love it. And there's only the two of us here. I told you, best view of Birch to Sky. I agree. Second sunrise, second success. It has been raining during the blue hour, but then the sun started to shine from the side, stopped raining, everything was golden. Rain, you're gonna be regretting not coming with me for sunrise. It's asleep again. Good morning. Good morning. We are supposed to be going immediately to our next destination after breakfast but we didn't have time to visit the eagle's nest yesterday so we are gonna quickly visit it now. let's go let's go the road to reach the eagle's nest is closed to private traffic Hiking or taking the special buses are the two options to get to the entrance of the long tunnel which connects with the old elevator that brings you to the top. Located on Mount Kalstein, the views of the Eagle's Nest are some of the best over Berchtesgaden National Park. Nowadays, the famous building is a lovely restaurant and tourist site, but it was completed in 1938 by the Nazi party for exclusive government and social meetings. The Allies took the building and damage on April 25, 1945, using it as a military command post until 1960, when it was given back to the state of Bavaria. A small exhibition in the Sun Terrace explains the history of the building.
So that ends the first episode of our Bavaria trip. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it will help us grow. And hit the subscribe button if you want to follow our adventures because we are still going to show you more beautiful places in Bavaria. Until next time, keep exploring rain or shine.